Okay, my name is Tato Matabane and I'm a creative director for a denim brand called African Swiss. Okay, African Swiss is a premium African denim brand and we exist to tell, to narrate and celebrate the African heritage. So the reason why we use denim because denim bears the same qualities as an African spirit. Hence now we are African Swiss Muntu jeans. Muntu is God in person, God in African, more God into the African spirit. So denim bears the same qualities with the Hindu spirit because the, the more you refine denim, the more you see the beauty of it. Africans, we've been colonized, we've been tortured and everything done to us. But the more you refine an African spirit, that's where you see the glory of us Africans. So hence we use denim as a medium of expression. So it's important to tell our African story to the world. And Retolo into na restope bully vitwani kuchi banke the ideas, but di ku what's about shwe shwe and then sell them to Batu. Bamo Africa. And but balo ta la kayaka di ku mo bato reka top e o yan twina ku bashwe tabu market on sayes and for years. But balo kua mole, balo patal above forty thousand, fifty thousand, but tabu market direct saka three thousand, but she's too expensive. So we need to tell our African story the way we know how. I create for everyone, especially all and into an African spirit that wears their heritage on their sleeves. But to by believing in, in and in local premium talent, in local premium designs. But there's a difference. And it's a more case. So better get Kenya yona than a common the excitingly much what they work at the guy. And they exist for hundreds of years. So in like design for everyone. But we want to be and people that fall a hole for brandy arona, but man gamla, we want to be overseas. Because when we realize that they believe we are supposed to be that side, because but we are not about to hold it exactly. Because but matter that the brandy is coming from local artists, musicians, majority, but the brandy is coming, and they want us to support local music, which is weird. So yeah, that's what we created. We started operating officially in 2014 and we were able to a flagship store, Kako Carlton Center. Then I had two partners, Tepo Jeans, Tepo was one of them. So we was doing our marketing, really, really partners. We opened our first store. We did our first SA Fashion Week show that same year. We got more friends in Ilea Bluma. Uh, we got rave reviews from African journalists. We were named Denim Kings of Africa and the first African denim boutique then in existence and owned by black people. And to invest uh, in was a black person as well. So really rather former than a right pusher. That was one of it. And the other one it was when I met my wife. She came to interview us called Shopunya Rona and she was from another channel. So her interview, uh, she said I spoke sense, I her, that's where we started. And seven years later, eight years later, three babies done. They can come here to our showroom, Motans Verkes Studios, Bramfontein, Constitution Hill, or they can go to Africa Rise, Constantin City. Same floor, late, late Diamond Walk, just a few steps from it. Bagaita Koteng, then we've got an online store. Online store website, get www.africanswiss.africa. They can go there as well or WhatsApp us go 084-958-2945. And how much should you budget? From a thousand bucks upwards. That's how much you budget. Because we've got items like t-shirts, the guy to like about 750, 600, the packet heads like about 650. Then you can get an item if you can go to NDK. Because we do tailored suites as well. So going forward, we're going to fuse tailoring lit denim. So anything between 600, 20K or upwards. Cause none but what and to specific get tailored for Bona Film. Yeah. So we started a new page now go Instagram, the African Swiss Denim 9. But go Facebook, we're still African Swiss. We're on Twitter as well, African Swiss. LinkedIn, we're African Swiss. So only Instagram has changed until we get our page back. Instagram, African Swiss Denim 9.